Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we got a bit of something different for you today. We're going to make a sign. I've got to do a, a wedding gift uh, for someone, our nephew, so um, let's make it together. So our on Cricut Desi Design Space, we've gone to images and I have typed in M split plural to find our split monogram that we're going to use today. And then I will open up a text box to type the Morgans and I'll return and then type establish 2020 and that will um, give us our text for the inside of the split and the established date that goes underneath. So it'll um, just take some playing around with this to get it everything to the proper size and everything. What you want to do is make sure that you measure your sign first and you know what uh, parameters that you have to work with. And for me, I basically am just going to be maximizing a, a 12 by 12 piece of vinyl because my sign is uh, just slightly bigger than that. You'll see that here towards um, the middle to end of the video. And so I think I'm going to, you know, work with 11 and three quarter inches wide and then I will play with um, the height. Um, actually, I think the piece of uh, burgundy adhesive vinyl that I have is it's about 12 by um, by 12 and a half or, or 13. So, um, but with Cricut, you can't cut all the way to the edge. It won't let you do a 12 inch cut. So you have to trim it back a little bit. So what I'm going to do is, um, go, my width will be the narrowest of my material. And then I am going to stretch it a little bit, um, by clicking the little, uh, lock that's between the width and height on the, um, menu above, you can, instead of stretching something proportionally, then you can stretch it um, horizontally or vertically without doing the proportion of the other direction. So I will then, that's well how I will make it taller and uh, fill up more of my uh, material and my sign. Because when I was doing it proportionally, uh, the height was less than than the width. So I needed to just manipulate it a bit. And I think it, it looks good. I mean, I like how it looks proportionally here, but I also like how it looks proportionally when I, I stretch it as well. And one other thing that uh, happened with me on this was when I got the uh, the words and everything the way that I wanted it and I went to to s align it uh, horizontally center it didn't align correctly here it is see the little uh, lines where your words are it was all the way over to the left because the swirls out on the left were m made the center of the whole image more to the left and I want the words in the center of those little lines where your name goes. And so then I just had to manually, manually adjust it and eyeball it. And I think I did a pretty good job. And one of the other decisions I had to make was the, the tall and the long letters. Did I want to shrink everything where those letters were inside those lines or did I want to let it hang over? And I decided to let it hang over because or else I would have put a lot of white space in there. And I really just wanted to maximize the height of the words, the and Morgan. And I wanted the established 2020 to be uh, the same height. So I decided to just let those hang over so they could be as big as possible. Okay, here's my material laid out on my mat. I really like using the longer mat so I can do multiple materials around. I always have my machine 90% of the time on custom and I like to just set my own um, material on there. 
And for the first, for the black, it, that is a Cricut material. So I'm just going to select the premium. And the burgundy is an Oral, Oracal 651, and it's a little bit thicker. So I'm going to select um, the premium outdoor glossy because of the Cricut, because I think that is a little bit thicker too. I've used that before, and I think it's a little thicker. So I, I think that'll give me the, the better cuts. And I did not change um, the pressure any. I just left it as the normal default pressure on the blade and um, just let it go. I, I don't have any problem using the Cricut vinyl and um, the Oracle 651 is a good vinyl. So, uh, you know, I always just say shop around. You know, I shop from Cricut whenever there's sales. Um, I shop from, oh goodness, the uh, the name is escaping me, but I will have them linked down below. They usually have, um, you know, different sales going on. You know, uh, one time they'll have like the Oracle 651 on sale, or then they'll have a uh, heat transfer vinyl on sale you know they kind of rotate their sales pretty good and their prices are really good anyway and um, they have uh, free shipping if you buy more than 25 or 35 dollars something like that it you don't have to buy a whole lot to um, get their free shipping and so it, and cricket it also depends on your um, you know subscription that you have you know the dis the additional discounts that you get there. So, okay, whenever you take in your vinyl off the mat, turn your mat upside down, and this will cut down on the amount of that curl you see there. Uh, here I'm just taking my shears and just cutting off some extra because I keep all little bits and pieces because you never know when you have something small that you need to cut out, and you just go for those scraps. So I keep all good size scraps. And here I'm just uh, doing the weeding. Now the Oracle 651 weeds really nicely. Uh, I think because it is a bit of a thicker uh, vinyl, I think that's why it weeds really nicely. And so it did not take me long to pick this out. Most of the things were large pieces anyway, but there was a couple of little small, like the insides of the flowers and things and a couple of corners that uh, were small, but uh, it, it weeded very, very quickly. So I'm just going to show you the top part of here. And then that's how it looks once I got my um, transfer over it. Okay, so now we're just cutting apart the uh, established and the Morgans. And I like to peel from left, I mean from right to left. That way the, the open letters like the E's come out much easier. And here's the Morgans. And you just get those, um, you know, little spots started, you know, like inside that A and it'll pop right out. And so then I just got the interior of the rest of those and that we did very easily too. Here's my sign. And I did a lot of measuring and a lot of planning before I started this. And, um, oh, now I'm putting on my transfer tape. I'm sorry. And I really love the Cricut Clear transfer tape. They have a, a paper tape, which is a good product too, but I like the clear. It just makes everything so much easier to, to be able to see it and to line it up and everything. I just really like the clear and I buy it in the big bulk rolls. So the cost is really not bad. And I reuse this a lot. Now, after this project, I'm not going to reuse it because um, the the paint on that sign peeled up a lot and so that did give me lots of uh, struggles with uh, getting this vinyl down uh, because it, it did come up a lot and so when I uh, peeled up my transfer tape it had a lot of uh, paint on it so I just went ahead and threw it away but otherwise nor I use these things and so basically they're just not sticky anymore and so I always keep your your liner, the transfer tape is on, so you can put it back on there. I squeegee everything down really good. I like my Cricut tools. It's a very wide, flat uh, tool. It's not a rounded one, so it's very good for really getting everything squeegee down good. 
So I made center marks. I also made marks where uh, it should line up, the, the M should line up on the edges and everything. I said, measure, 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 because once it's stuck down, it's down. And I mean, where you, you may be able to peel it back up and start all over, but you're not going to be able to use that, what you peeled back up because like this would have been covered in flecks of paint. So it would not have gone down. Now I, my camera battery died, so I did not get the uh, sticking down of the M, but here you'll see the sticking down of the, the Morgans. And basically the main thing I can tell you here when sticking this stuff down is uh, well, one, you need to get right over it to line it up. I will cut out the part of my head, the part where my head's right over it, but squeegee it down really, really good. And then when you start peeling it back, lay the um, transfer tape over onto itself and peel it straight back. That way you're not peeling up and you're just peeling back. And so it's more likely that you're vinyl will stay in place and so you can see that it worked really well and I've got it flat against the board peeling it back I had to double it over because it was getting long but anyway just peel it back and then once you get your transfer tape off you want to make sure that you mash it down really good either squeegee it down or use your fingers either way now we're going to put our established 2020 on there and I've got my center mark down at the bottom and I already measured my established 2020. So I know that center is about, about center of the two or just to the left of center of that first two. And so again, squeegee, 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 and then peel it back and make sure that it's flat on your liner is flat onto itself. And then the last thing to do is just to erase your pencil marks. And then I used my uh, Nouveau fluffy brush to just brush out all the pencil eraser shavings. And then I will show you some final pictures of this project. I, again, I will have um, all my tools and vinyl and stuff linked down below. So if you're so inclined to do a project like this, please, um, you know, shop through my links. It helps me bring uh, new products and, and things to you. So uh, again, I always appreciate everybody watching and thumbs upping my videos and sharing um, whenever you can. Everybody stay safe, healthy, and we will see you soon in the next video.